So now they say, okay, so we are there. 0.15 duty ratio, 15M current, and this is what you get. Now, let's see what happens when I reduce the current from 15 amps to 7.5 amps. Sorry, not 75, 7.5 amps. Just in half. Okay. Watch the yellow waveform. Start at zero, and, and what is peak? The peak is at 15 amps. Input peak is at 30 amps, right? Now, when I click here and measure it, you know, I was just having too short interval, so I had to go to get to the steady state. So here's a steady state. Do we agree that now this is now at about 15 amps peak, right? Why is that good? We eliminate discontinuous conduction mode, so it's uh, always light load. No, and what is going to happen when the current is going uh, further down? When DC load current goes down, what happens with it? It goes down directly proportional to it. Here is my new concept. The method which I called. Uh, remember, I mentioned the uh, three. Uh, so far, I introduced you to hybrid switching method, and so far, I introduced you to. Uh, uh, and I mentioned uh, storage switching, which we'll cover in another converter. But uh, now another method I mentioned, which is badly, badly needed for all voltage regulator modules called VRM and VRD, and which is going to replace these 12 buck converters, which are there in order to make a transient somehow uh, survive Intel's requirements that you have a 50 amps per microsecond change of the current. Did you see what happened here? When I changed the current from 15 amps to 7.5 amps, what happens? Magnitude of the current drawn from a source is directly directed, uh, uh, driven by the DC load current. It's not the voltage source and Tevin and equivalent which is driving the output current. It is the output DC current which tells what should be drawn the very next cycle from the converter. In one cycle, I get my transient response. I don't need a 12-buck converters. You understand?